Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at another entry from Red Dragon. This keyboard was sent to me by Red Dragon in exchange for an honest review. I like having the chance to review these keyboards and give you guys an honest look at what these kits offer. So this one though is a little bit different than pr practically any other keyboards I use and I wouldn't have noticed it unless I paid close attention to the case. So, this is the Caraxes Pro. Now, upon initial inspection, you just say, okay, it looks like your standard 60%, right? Well, you gotta read right here. 1.2 big keycap. Now, of course, we've all seen that huge keyboard that Glarses have made, um, or bought, or whatever. Uh, but 1.2 big keycap? I don't know. So, I know about as much as you guys may, unless you guys have actually read about this. I didn't even look it up. I was just like, well, let me take a look at it. It's still sealed. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it, okay? All right, so let's open this up. It looks like it's newer. I think um, this the up, updated logo and boxes kind of signifying that they're using the newer hot swap sockets. We have your extra switches, which Red Dragon and RK always gives out. We also have, oh, this is a decent USB braided, uh, USB-C to USB-C with the adapter on a tail. Now, I don't know how many times I do this, but Keychron, I know you guys are watching my videos. Why aren't you doing this? Why do you include a little dongle that can get lost? I just don't get it. This is new. They usually include the right switch keycap puller, but I don't know. I'm not a fan of these horseshoe ones and just a keycap puller on its own. But neither here nor there. I do like that they give switches and I do like the USB cable that they include. Quite nice. And here we are, the K6440 6444. Um, Caraxes, the Caraxes Pro. Caraxes Pro. So it is a wired keyboard, and these keys are bigger. They're not like, well, I guess, yeah. Here's a normal sized keycap. As you can see, it sits right on top of it. Oh. But as you can see, they're bigger, but not much bigger. All right, so as you can see, this is <clears throat> a wireless. We got 2.4, we got Bluetooth, and we got a pocket for the dongle. This is the case is very similar to other to the 65% now. We have a Red Dragon sticker sheet as well as a quick start guide. So USB 2.4 and Bluetooth. That's good. At least we have that functionality. And we have a pair of flip-out feet. And what do we have underneath here? Yeah, those are some massive keycaps. Let's see what they... Okay, they're right at one millimeter. So just on the line. But despite them being thick, they're soft. They're quite bendy. They may be ABS, I'm not sure. I don't see it listed. But as I was saying, this is a newer motherboard and it has the three to five pin hot swap sockets. Now, there is no plate PCB foam and there doesn't appear to be any foam in the case either. So we have your standard Red Dragon Red switches, which they're not extremely pingy, like say a Tummies. They are somewhat pingy. Um, now these can be made to sound a little bit better uh, through lubing, but not that much. Yep, we've got a steel plate. Now I can say I, I do like the carbon um, colorway that they have here with the shine throughs, but I still gotta ask myself, who is this for? Features 
X 1.2 keycap and three connections. Exclusive X 1.2 keycap designed for big hand user. So these are meant for people with big hands. I'm just saying, I didn't know that there was a need for keyboards for bigger hands. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it in and take a look at the RG. Oh, it's on the side, I was gonna say. All right. I wasn't sure the RGB was on. Wow. That is some pretty, this is the second keyboard I've seen today with some low RGB. That's not very bright at all. I can see it, but it's it's not very bright. But the switch actually doesn't seem to help despite it having the window. Actually seems to block out some of it, but I mean, I, uh, it's hard to tell that the lights are even on unless you, like, keep looking at one of the keys and you can see it slightly change color, but make it a little darker in here. I still just don't think they're that bright. Yeah, I can see it a little bit better, but it's still not very bright. Oh, there's the key effects, all right. Yeah, the RGB is very hard to see here but I mean not that that's the greatest concern here because uh, this just doesn't um, doesn't sound very good now lately I've been getting red dragons that actually are worthwhile opening it up and modifying because they're already they're sounding pretty decent stock but you know needs a little bit of work but here I don't know we just we have for stabilizers. Stabilizers are swimming on the plate. I mean, they're literally, they're just floating on top of the plate. It's like tolerances, who cares? A little bit of ticking. All right, so like I said, I haven't taken a look at this keyboard online yet. It is listed for $59.99 and has a $10 key on it. So $49.99 for the 60% with large keys. Um, and it's new, so they just released this. If I end up taking these keycaps out and wanting to replace these keycaps, I'm gonna have a lot of space left over in the keys and it's just gonna be even funkier but say if I do need this because it's big-handed where do I find keycaps to match or am I just stuck with the carbon colorway I mean I like it there's probably people out there that don't so I don't know if if you guys feel that there's a need for this keyboard or that you could use it I'm, I'm honestly curious to hear from you because let's get technical Today we are taking a look at the Red Dragon K644 Caraxes Pro. It is a 1.2 size big key, meaning that the key and the footprint of the keyboard have been increased by 20%. It is a three mode 60% wireless keyboard that does have the new hot swap three and five pin compatibility PCB. It comes loaded with Red Dragon red unlooped switches uh, carbon-based uh, keycaps that are shined through perhaps ABS and have a width of one millimeter and include absolutely no dampening between either the plate and PCB or the PCB in the case. This keyboard weighs in at 667 grams and MSRPs for $59.99. The chin of this keyboard sits 20 millimeters while the back sits at 26 millimeters above the typing surface providing you with an angle of six degrees. If using the included pair of feet to raise up the back, it goes up to 33 millimeters, changing your typing angle to nine degrees. All right, so today we took a look at the Red Dragon K644 Caraxes Pro that has 20% larger footprint and keycaps. Again, I personally have never heard anyone asking for a keyboard with bigger keys. Uh, because they have big hands. 
Apparently, Red Dragon believes that there's a need for it. I'm curious if you guys have ever wanted or actually would need this keyboard. Is there anyone out there that has ever said, gee, I wish keycaps were bigger because my hands are bigger? Or I wish the footprint was bigger? Because if there is, then I'd like to know. Because I'm curious, how did Red Dragon, or why did Red Dragon decide to make this keyboard? Uh, uh, for me, it's not something that I would use, especially for the fact that, I mean, I love carbon. I'm not a big fan of shining through keycaps in most situations. There are a couple that I like. But if I go to switch out the keycaps, I'm gonna have gaps between every single key because they're gonna be too small. I don't, I've never seen a 1.2X keycap set. But again, I don't need this. I'm I'm just short, shy of six feet, so I don't, I, I'm fine with standard keyboards. So I don't see where the need for this is. But if I'm mistaken, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. For right now, I'm just gonna leave you guys with a stock sound test of this keyboard. If you guys would like me to come back to this and mod it or do anything more or check out something else that I might be missing because I, I, I can't see where the value proposition is, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I guess we'll see each other on the next transmission. Until then, keep calm and keep on.